to Rose Tinted. So for today's video, I thought I would do an unboxing of the 2020 Baby Box Initiative box. Um, basically, if you haven't heard of the Baby Box Initiative, what it is, is basically it is a free box of baby goodies that get sent to you by the government if you live in Scotland. So any baby that was born after August 15th, 2017, um, receives a box um, from the government free of charge that your midwife applies for um, and basically it is this ginormous box that can actually be used as um, somewhere for baby to sleep and it's filled with goodies for mum and for baby and the whole point of it is to give every baby the best start in life so all of the little essentials that you need um, get sent to you free of charge so I did one of these no, was it last year? Yeah, I did one of these last year um, for the 2019 baby box um, and I don't know, I wanted to compare them uh, I just, I liked watching it I don't know, if you're waiting for yours maybe you're like me and you're eager to see what's in it um, but anyway, um, all of the information about the baby box initiative will be left in the description bar below for you guys. Um, failing that, if you just speak to your midwife, I'm sure that she will tell you all about it and in sure time she'll apply for yours as well. Um, as far as I'm aware, they don't have anything like this in England as of yet, um, but there was talk of something on an online forum uh, that I read where they're actually campaigning for it. However, this is just in Scotland at the moment as far as I know. And if you guys didn't see on the box, it's actually all like printed with different things. It's quite cute. You're supposed to be able to colour it in and add your baby's birth date and stuff like that. Um, personally, I didn't do that. Um, I repurposed the box, but it's entirely up to you. So without further rambling from me, let's jump into what's in the baby box. So the first thing you get in the baby box is this envelope here. And this has like lots of little leaflets and things in it now last year i wasn't overly impressed with the stuff that was in the um, information pamphlet it was mainly just information about the box however this year they've included this pamphlet here um, which is all about breastfeeding and it shows you how to express breast milk by hand and it also shows you how um, your latch should look with your baby now for me personally um, I tried breastfeeding Nicholas and I really didn't enjoy it, mainly because I didn't feel like I was given the support to correctly breastfeed and therefore it was quite painful, it was uncomfortable and it felt like a chore. So having something like this that allows me to at least start the research myself is really handy and I think it's good for all mums to see. Whether or not you're planning to breastfeed or not, it's really good sometimes when your milk comes in, engorgement can be quite painful, so knowing how to hand express alone would be really handy. Um, this I thought was really good. It's a leaflet all about um, depression, anxiety um, in new mums. I feel like not enough people speak about postpartum um, and postnatal depression. So I think this is really good. This is, as far as I'm aware, a piece of art. I'm gonna just pop this to the side. Um, a safe sleeping guide. Um, probably things that most of us have read in other books, but it's always good to hand out in case people don't know. And then it has a list of everything about your baby box inside, what you get, um, how to use each thing, that kind of jazz. And then lastly, there is this gorgeous little poem from an author called Jackie Kay. Um, and this was written in 2016. And basically, this poet has written a little poem that has now been put into each of the baby boxes. So I thought it was really good. Um, as far as the information leaflets, I feel like they're much, much better than they were last year. They're much more informative, um, personal opinion. But um, yeah, let's get on to the exciting stuff. You know what? I'll just pull stuff out um, as and how I see it. So the first thing I see is a little bib. Um, this just looks like a first size bib although it looks, looking in the mirror, it looks like it would actually fit my elder son. Um, but yeah, it's just this cute little grey bib. Bibs are an absolute lifesaver when baby starts to drool, so that is super funky. It also has a little comforter in it. This is a little yellow giraffe one. Now, I personally didn't get much use out of this for Nicholas. He wasn't really into, like, plush toys or soft toys. 
but I've seen so many mums on like Face Bay and stuff like that asking if anyone has the comforter from the baby box because their baby loved it. So even if you don't want it or you don't get the use out of it, try posting it on there because I know a lot of mums um, have babies that this is their favourite. So something worth thinking about. And then you get a fitted sheet um, in the box, which is for the mattress that's on the bottom of the box that I'll show you at the end. But I thought this was actually a really nice touch because fitted sheets and things like that for babies, like bed and stuff, can be bloody expensive. So then we have two little pairs of, or two little sets of socks. We have zero to three and three to six months. And there's also a hat. Now this, I believe when I first looked at it, it said like newborn or zero to three. It says zero to three months, but that just looks huge to me. Um, however, it's a cute little hat. Hats are always a brilliant idea for babies, especially babies that are due to be born around this time of year. And then there are different sizes of clothing in the box as well. I'm gonna try and section them up into those sizes. So firstly, we have the newborn and zero to three months clothes. And in this year's box, there is this adorable little white onesie um, or like vest, long sleeve vest. It has little different giraffes on it. I think this is super cute. This is different to the items that I received last year. I don't know if all of the boxes are the same or if they differ from person to person, but all of these clothes are different from the ones I received last year. There's also just a plain white long sleeved vest, which comes in handy for just about everything. Then there is a black and white wrap long sleeve onesie um, that has the little outline of the giraffe on it. Super freaking cute. And all of the clothes are incredibly unisex, which is amazing um, because I feel like each person will get the use out of the clothes. Um, there's this little footed romper in here, which is super cute with the little um, blue giraffes on it again. And then one of my favorite items in the baby box this year is this cute little onesie and I don't know if it's because at the moment I have an obsession with the mustard yellow as you can probably see behind me um, but I just think this is the one of the cutest onesies I have ever seen and I can't wait to put my little boy in it and have him all wrapped up for winter um, but yes and then uh, there's these little grey trousers which are just super cute and are always handy to just throw on with a long sleeve vest or whatever if you're just chilling around the house. And then for three to six month clothing you have the same trousers that we had before just in the larger size which is amazing um, and I like the fact that they cover like not just newborn but they cover you for like the first six months. Then there is just a plain white um, long sleeved onesie and it has the built in mittens which if you ask me are so much better than um, the little packets of mittens that you can get because inevitably you will lose them and they will take them off. <laughs> then there is this blue starred onesie that is footless so this is where your little socks will come in handy. Super cute little romper, love it. And then the same as the mustard yellow onesie, there is this gray one with clouds on it. And this again is just super, super cute. Um, our son will be reaching this around January, February. So it'll still be quite wintry and cold. And this with a little like double pom pom hat. Winning, he's gonna be a cutie. And then lastly, they give you a little short sleeved um, white uh, vest there as well which is really, really good. The other thing that I do believe you got in the box last year, but you got again this year, is this fluffy little zip up jacket. Now, what size is this in? This is in three to six months. Um, Nicholas fit his around the five month mark and fit it for a good couple, I would say maybe two months, um, which is actually pretty good going for a kid's jacket, um, especially when they're that young because they just grow out of everything so quickly. Um, but yeah, this cute little fleecy jacket and it has ears, all children's clothes with hoods should have ears. Um, so that's super cool as well, especially considering that it's a wind, it's like been delivered to me in the winter. They have a cellular blanket, which is the type of blanket they recommend taking into the hospital because um, it's a little bit easier for the temperature regulation and all that jazz. It's not too hot, it's not too stuffy, it's not going to make them sweat. Um, it's a bit more breathable, so it's really cool that they give you one of those and in such a neutral colour as well.
Next up is things for mum. So they have put a 24 pack of ultra slim breast pads in the box. Now I think this is a really, really good idea, a really smart idea, because whether you choose to breastfeed or not, the chances are you're gonna leak some form of milk in the, the few days after giving birth. And breast pads are actually really expensive. So for households that maybe don't have the money to go out and splurge on, on breast pads and stuff like that, this is a good gateway into them um, until they find ones that match their budget. And I think it's a really good idea that they've added some things for mum in there. Because at the end of the day, mum has to look after herself in order to look after baby. They also provide you with a 12 pack of maternity towels. I actually really enjoyed the maternity towels they put in here last year. I believe they were the same like type. Um, I find them to be really, really good and I actually used these up before the ones I bought myself just because I preferred them more. Um, they're super large, super obnoxious. They will be super comfortable and come in really handy after birth. So, Although they look gross, hold on to them ladies because they are the best things ever. <laughs> so in the baby box they also include a baby sling. So this is a baby uh, wrap sling. Um, last time, regrettably, I didn't use it and I wish I had. Um, so this time around, I think I'm going to give it a really good go at trying it out um, with the baby because I feel like with a toddler and a newborn, maybe baby wearing is going to be my best friend. Um, but we'll see. So I'll update you guys on whether or not this works for me. Um, but I thought it was a really good idea to include this as an extra in the box or as an item in the box just because I think it's an alternative and again something that can actually cost quite a lot if you buy it brand new. The next couple of things from the box will help you with bath time. So the first one is a digital bath and room thermometer. Um, we used ours with Nicholas and found it really, really helpful. Um, it comes with the two batteries that you require. Um, you basically just pop the thermometer in the bath as you run it and it gives you the temperature and it has a little light on it that will flash red um, if it's too hot. So it's a good indicator, especially if it's your first baby, on whether or not the bath is the right temperature. So I'm glad we got another one of those. The next is just a little duck sponge, super cute. If nothing else, it will entertain them. Uh, I personally use like baby face cloths and stuff like that, but the sponge is always good for entertainment. They do provide you with a white hooded towel, which is amazing. Um, I think if you guys watched my what I bought for my baby so far video, um, I said to you guys, I don't buy hooded towels really for the baby. I've bought one um, for like photo op, kind of situation after that they grow out of them so quickly and we end up just using our own bath towels um, or now the boys bath towels because we've got separate towels for Nicholas and the baby but I think it's really nice that they do give you one because it does it is quite handy and especially that like after their first couple of baths so I thought that was really nice a little three pack of nail files because they do suggest filing your baby's nails for the first couple of months instead of cutting them but you mama do you and if you want to cut them cut them but nail files are a great option failing that just picking them because they're that soft that they basically fall off an infrared ear thermometer is another thing that comes in the box and this is amazing these are really really ridiculously expensive online to buy um so the fact that they provide you with them plus the little covers so if you've got more than one child um, it keeps the tip of the thermometer clean. It also comes with um, like a little pouch to put it all in so that you can keep it all together and throw it in your medicine cupboard and yeah, just amazing. I do think that's a really good thing to include there. Um, a teething ring, well you probably won't need this right away. It will come in really handy in the upcoming months after you give birth. You get a little pair of the independent white mittens. Um, for anything that your baby wears that doesn't have the mittens, they do suggest putting mittens on your baby. I personally never did. Um, I think I put a pair of mittens on him when he was first born and that was only because the midwife was watching me. As soon as we got home we ditched that and just put him in onesies that had the built in ones. Um, but for those that prefer these, you do get a pair of them in your baby box. And we also get a three pack of muslin squares. These are in keeping with the color scheme of the clothing. Again, all super neutral. Um, 
and the material of these is actually really nice we've still got our old ones and they're fab then you get a couple of little entertainment bits and bobs for the baby so you get this cute little out and about book which we actually still have nicholas's one it's in his toy chest um, but this can be attached to your car seat or your pram um, to give them something to entertain themselves while they're out and it does come in really handy um, they have an all about me book which is super super cute and these little books are brilliant um, when they're just starting to wake up and spend a bit more time being aware um, it's great to have these short little snappy books to to kind of read and then they have round and round the garden by annie kubler or kubler um yeah just again another short quick snappy book to read while they're a bit more alert and reading to them is supposed to be really good so including that is fab you also get a changing mat we absolutely loved our um, foldable changing mat that we got in our baby box last year um, we started off using it in the bedroom for like night changes and stuff like that and then it made its way into our changing bag and I have no doubt that this will do exactly that again and it matches the colour scheme for my bedroom grey and mustard I'm happy it's gonna make the night feeds look <laughs> in theme with the rest of the room <laughs> and last but not least is a play mat so yes they actually include a play mat um in your baby box so it's just a flat um square play mat that has different animals numbers letters that kind of thing but it is really really good for stimulating your baby so the fact that you get one of these free of charge just because you're having a baby amazing it's a great like starter piece to have that wasn't the last thing the last thing is you get two packs of three condoms. So you get six condoms in total. Um, although um, sex is probably the last thing on your mind after having a baby, um, your body is also at its most uh, prime, I suppose, in order to recreate more life. And you can conceive um, right after giving birth. So it's a good idea if you are planning to have sex to make sure that you are using something um, because they do recommend waiting, I think it's 12 weeks before you go back on like the pill or anything like that. So although it seems really daft to include some condoms in a baby box, it is actually a really good idea if you don't want babies that are literally nine months apart. <laughs> and then last but not least, I'm not sure how well you're gonna see this, but I will insert a close up for you, is the baby box actually has a mattress at the bottom of it and it's really sturdy, thick cardboard so that the box can actually be used as a sleeping place for your baby, a safe, a safe sleeping place for your baby. And um, obviously the mattress cover that I showed you, um, the fitted sheet is for this mattress here. Um, last time we actually put the mattress from the baby box in the moon crib that we have in the living room um, so we did actually use the mattress but we repurposed the box um, we didn't use the box as a sleeping place but um, if you are someone that doesn't have somewhere for baby to sleep yet or you haven't decided what you want or you're somebody that um, travels with baby or whatever maybe the box will be a great place for your baby to sleep so that is everything from the box so that is everything that you get in Scotland's baby box in the year of 2020 and if you ask me I think there's a fantastic variety of different things for mum and for baby that are really gonna help in those first couple of months um, after giving birth and some of these things Nicholas actually still uses to the this day from the box that we got last year so I do feel like they're durable they're actual like usable items like items that you would probably buy yourself um, for example the ear thermometer a lot of us research and look for a thermometer for ages and then spend a fortune on one when realistically you get it for free from the baby box and I do actually think that this is one of the better schemes that our government has come up with and I think it's a fantastic idea to give all babies kind of like a baseline of stuff um, and to make sure that mums looked after because I think that's super important and I'm glad they didn't skip on that. So like I say, all information about the Scotland's uh, Baby Box Initiative will be in the description bar below. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe using the button down below. It's free of charge and it really helps me out. And don't forget to click the little bell notification button so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. And until next time, guys, bye. Thank you.